Yes, I was going to this other Methodist church and God was talking to me. I could feel it every night. I couldn't sleep at night because he was talking to me. I was ready to be, give my heart, my soul to him. So my friend Carmen said, okay, let's go up there where Miss Mary Hancock goes and try that church out. So we came up here, same day, because their church was like at 10 o'clock, no, at 8.30, and then went through that, and then we came on over here. And then the, that was the first week. Then the next week, Jesus was talking to me every night in my heart. I couldn't sleep. I was rolling, tumbling. And so then on Sunday, the next Sunday, we came over here where Mary Hancock went to church. And everybody just welcomed me and so sweet. And then my heart was still heavy. And um, when the song came on and I went up and I said, I'm ready. And so I went up there and my heart was just so full. And Jesus said, I'm, you ready? And I said, yes, I give my heart and soul to you. And please help me get through this. And he did, he helped me every day, every every minute of the day, the next week, every day he was with me. And he has been since then. And it's just, uh, my, my heart was as if a big rock was on my soul and it just was lifted. That night I went to bed and I slept all night long and I said, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for forgiveness of sins. And I mean, it was like, I'm ready. He's, he's accepting me for me, for what I am. And I'm thinking, how did I live all these years and not, you know, how did I live without Jesus? How did I do that? And I just, my whole life has changed now. That right now the church is my family. Yeah. Everybody here has been so good to me and accepted me as one of them from day one. I mean, everybody. And that is such a good feeling, you know? It's just a good feeling. And I love everybody here. It's just my life is in Jesus' hand now. With, with, with God, it's just so much easier.